Devin's outspoken father and head trainer, Bill Haney, just made some eyebrow-raising comments. He claims Devin's dominant sparring performance over an aging Mayweather convinced the icon to hang up the gloves for good shortly after. That's right, Bill asserts that 20-year-old Devin schooled the legendary Mayweather so badly in 2017 that an embarrassed Floyd wanted no part of the new generation. We'll break down Bill's provocative statements and analyze whether his sensational story holds any merit. Does this qualify as a typical case of an overzealous dad exaggerating his son's exploits? Or could Devin have legitimately spurred the 50 Neuro Mayweather into early retirement? Let's examine both sides closely. In a recent media appearance, trainer Bill Haney fanned the flames of an ongoing feud with Floyd Mayweather. Bill contends that four years ago, a prime Devin Haney dominated an aging Mayweather in a private sparring session. Listen to this shocking revelation yourself. He should have showed the sparring video of him and Devin. Mm. Yeah. What? Mm. Now, why he's showing all this Ooh. sparring video? Yeah, show the sparring. And it was yeah. six oh, it wasn't close. It was like Floyd was looking in the mirror when I told him. How long? And I told him. Yeah. How long was that? It was before the Conor McGregor fight when he finally decided that he could no longer be in the boxing Ooh. with no real fighters. Devin is the one that stamped that. He knew that the torch had to be passed, and he passed it to Devin. I mean, because it was either it was either force or it is what it is right now. We will be challenging him, and like we challenge everybody. There's nobody in boxing in or around the division that. You know what I mean? He's not uh, looking to fight. So Bill claims Devin outclassed Floyd using mirror-like technique and speed while barely losing a moment of action. According to the elder Haney, Devin proved himself clearly superior in every tangible aspect. According to Bill, Mayweather was shocked by the sheer skill gap against a teenager, and it was a humbling reality check. In Bill's words, Devin metaphorically stamped Floyd's decision to walk away for good just months later in the wake of a poor showing. Bill believes after the one-sided sparring thrashing at Devin's hands, a shell-shocked Mayweather wanted no part of the new hungry generation led by his son. So, he preemptively retired to avoid passing the torch against his will. Pretty scandalous stuff, no doubt. Bill capped his tirade by lamenting Mayweather's strangely failure to showcase footage of the infamous sparring session. He feels that Floyd is hanging on to outdated glory days by downplaying Devin and new young fighters. However, many observers have justifiably questioned the credibility of Bill Haney's statements regarding the sparring and its direct aftermath. Several glaring plot holes exist. First off, Bill has repeatedly shown tendencies toward bombastic overstatements in hyping up Devin's profile. This seems another transparent attempt at garnering headlines to fuel the rising star's popularity and brand. Also, the claimed timing of the sparring doesn't really add up. Mayweather fought Conor McGregor in his final professional bout in August 2017, yet Devin was still fighting on club-level undercards at age 19 in early 2017. He was relatively obscure despite standout amateur credentials. So how and why would peak pay-per-view King Mayweather handpick a teenage club fighter with five total pro fights to privately spar less than a year from his swan song mega match? The context makes little sense. Even if he just wanted to train, surely he had better fighters in his team or in his circle to have a sparring session with. Why would he go for an amateur like Devin? Moreover, attributing Floyd's retirement specifically to demoralization from Devin's sparring seems like complete BS from Bill Haney. Mayweather is many things, but he isn't that insecure that he would decide to retire after a casual sparring session with a 19-year-old amateur. Far more likely, aging 40 years old with declining skills factored more heavily into walking away after McGregor. And lastly, if Devin so thoroughly outclassed Mayweather, why wouldn't the Haney camp proudly leak unedited footage to showcase it? The conspicuous lack of video evidence contradicts such a claim. So when dissected logically, Bill Haney's story comes across as quite a major stretch at best. Convincing the public without tangible proof becomes nearly impossible. Most signs point to an exaggerated narrative twisted to feed Devin's rising young superstar persona as Bill continues building his brand. But could there be any semblance of truth buried within these bizarre statements? Let's explore that angle next. While the specifics and direct retirement implications seem fabricated, might the two have shared a ring at some point during Floyd's late career? The details are overwhelmingly murky, but Mayweather was infamous for hosting sparring sessions involving rising talents, both to test himself and scout boxers under his promotional banner. Devin likely appeared on Floyd's radar as an attractive prospect based on amateur success. So it's feasible a sparring match might have happened through Mayweather promotions. If so, 
Perhaps Devon flashed enough potential to earn some highly valuable praise from Floyd Mayweather Jr. that would have bolstered the young fighter's confidence. The hardened truth probably lies somewhere in a vague middle ground. But why does Bill harbor such outward animosity toward Mayweather now, despite any past working relationship? Most points to the video leaked months ago, where Gervonta Davis allegedly knocked Devin Haney out cold in their own rumored sparring encounter. Floyd's unapologetic promotion of the clip seems to have drawn Bill's ire. Bill felt it was a biased attempt to undermine Devin's talents right as his profile elevated into title contention. Hence, they may manufacture a rebuttal to bolster Devin's credibility at Floyd's expense. The entire scenario is devolving into conflict, he said. He said accounts with no video documentation to support either. Lack of evidence keeps the truth shrouded. But the crux is Haney's quest to escape Mayweather's looming shadow as Bill tries shielding Devin's confidence at a pivotal career juncture against common promotional adversaries. Public sparring stories fuel an ongoing underlying feud. Analyzing all available information, my personal belief is Bill Haney fabricated underlying details of the alleged sparring retirement, at best, or more likely, the entire event itself to drum up controversy. With no sound accounts from Mayweather or even Devin himself, the story comes across predominantly as exaggerated hearsay. Too many visible holes in logic make it nearly impossible to take at face value. Still, perhaps distant remnants of truth exist, with the two sharing a ring briefly during Floyd's twilight years. But Bill has almost certainly hyperbolized events dramatically for attention. In the end, neither needs validation from the other. Mayweather's revered Hall of Fame legacy remains etched in stone as Devin blazes his own path toward lightweight glory. The reality probably lies somewhere in the middle, and we'll have to see how Mayweather responds to this outrageous statement by Bill Haney. While Father Haney is targeting Mayweather Jr., Devin recently confronted Ryan Garcia. As you probably heard, things got extremely heated when the two undefeated stars came face to face this week at their big Vegas press conference. And now, in the aftermath, Haney is leveling a bold claim that Garcia was actually intoxicated throughout the volatile promotional event. He insists Ryan was visibly drunk and making a scene to cover up the intimidation factor. Coming into Wednesday's press conference, tension was palpably thick, with two rising megastars nearing their primes, finally set to collide after years of trash talk. Egos and bragging rights are up for grabs on a massive global platform. The 23-year-old Ryan Garcia entered first. Swag turned all the way up while unleashing his customary trash talk. The brash Garcia vowed to again expose boring Haney as a hype job on April 15th. He seemed ultra-amped from the jump. When his turn came, a stoic Devin Haney kept commentary brief, promising only to let his skills silence critics come fight night. Haney carried himself as the consummate professional opposite Garcia's bold bravado, and that would become an ongoing contrast as the presser rolled along, Ryan's motor mouth constantly revving up bold proclamations as a subdued Haney scoffed amusingly. Things are clearly already tense between the two. Eddie Hearn and Golden Boy promoter Oscar De La Hoya enjoyed playfully bantering for the cameras as well. But ultimately, it was Ryan who stole headlines by getting increasingly agitated and even barking aggressively in Hearn's face. Speaking just after the press conference fireworks, Devin Haney dropped a bombshell that garnered headlines. When asked about Ryan's erratic over-the-top behavior, Haney bluntly alleged his rival had shown up drunk. Here's what he had to say. Ryan is an alcoholic. He drink a lot. So he, we don't know which Ryan we're going to get. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know. So we don't know if he, he might be off a, you know, a bottle of Casamigos when we're talking about. <laughs> when critically examining Haney's scathing accusation, some truth could be buried beneath perceived fight hype bluster. Upon a rewatch, Garcia does appear somewhat unhinged in segments, yelling aggressively across the room. And Ryan has cultivated a reputation as boxing's premier party boy over the years. Footage exists of him chugging alcohol regularly on social media. With that established lifestyle context, showing up tipsy on fight week wouldn't be overly shocking. However, leaping to label Garcia explicitly drunk as a skunk seems a major leap without breathalyzer proof. For all Devin knows, Ryan's simply a volatile personality who feeds off chaos and external confrontation. Footage proves inconclusive. Now, never one to sidestep an opening for rebuttal, Ryan soon fired back hard, denying drunkenness while doubling down on beating Devin. According to Ryan, whether he had one beer or ten beers is irrelevant. Regardless of any external chemical influence, Garcia guarantees he will still destroy Haney with ease 
Whenever they share the ring, he vows alcohol makes no difference. The defiant young gun punctuated his rant by telling Haney insistently, I know you want me to drink before their fight. Clearly still bitter over defeat last time out, Garcia feels extremely confident Haney won't provide him any real danger. So what do you think about Bill and Devin Haney's statements? Tell us in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this update, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get regular updates from our channel. See you soon.